Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another reaction video, The Bad Batch Season 2, Episode 13. Me and Mark are back here again for another reaction review. A few things before we get into this one. Mark, I wanted to bring this up to you just because, you know, last episode we said it was the best episode yet. You know, it mm -hmm. was phenomenal. And we had a whole lot of ideas for what could go on with Crosshair. And a lot of people said maybe... Uh, the place that he was taken to, maybe they'll turn him into one of those, like, assassin clones. Oh, yeah, that's true. I, I really that. hope that doesn't happen, because yeah. if that does happen, it kind of, like, takes away his personality. Mm -hmm. Like, he For is sure. just... It, it, it takes away any sort of redemption arc that he could be on, because he's just going to be completely brainwashed. Exactly, yeah, uh, that's true. And then, also, the idea we talked about you know, who might die to save who, stuff like that. Uh, the idea maybe is uh, Echo saves Crosshair. Like, oh, Echo no. sacrifices himself to save Crosshair because in the Clone Wars, Crosshair, you know, they, they saved Echo, but mm -hmm. Crosshair did what, like, you know, he said to uh, was it Anakin or was it Re it was Rex I think where he was like you know why are we even going after mm -hmm. this dude we don't even know he's alive to yeah, cross exactly. it and if Echo saves Crosshair that's just crazy so um, dude how about just all of them live how about that that Please. yeah that is the hope but <laughs> I figured I'd bring that up to you because I thought it was some interesting uh theories there oh, bro, that's just gonna that's gonna be brutal if that happens <laughs> that's gonna be brutal. but from what I know, this episode does not have crosshair in it. So, you know, all this is kind of doesn't really mean anything. But because of the last episode, I thought I'd bring it up. So let's get right into this one. That's a lot of credits. That is a lot. I don't know what, what this thing is that they just bought, but. Oh, oh my God. It it's those... one, yeah, it's yeah, one okay. of the bugs from episode two. <laughs> yeah, that's all I was about to say. Ooh. I hate yeah, that I thing. I don't dude. like that. Hated in episode two. Uh, hate it now. Uh, I don't like that. You should have brought more muscle than that, V. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, here we go. Let's go. So they got their credits back too. Yeah. <laughs> they just stole the briefcase. So they just finessed. Back. They finessed. <laughs> she needs friends. Wants her own age. And who don't share her genetic profile. We never had such a thing. <laughs> I, I bet Sid tells the Empire where, where they are because she, she knows about Omega. Yeah. That's what that's how they're gonna find her. What's with all these characters and double crossing each other? Mm-hmm. It's where the artifact will be stored. It holds treasures from all over the galaxy. That's sweet. But this treasure can mean many things. Most of the villagers on Pabu are refugees. Many of the items I recover are remnants of their cultures, and that's worth preserving. I like that. Yeah, that's actually kind of cold. Is that? He looks like Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> like a fat Dwayne. <laughs> Does he not? <laughs> that's the boulder, bro. Dude, yeah. If The Rock was in. <laughs> Was in Clone Wars animation. That's what he'd look like. I like this planet. Yeah, this planet's really. Cool. It reminds me of like of uh, of like Greece. Mm -hmm. You know, they got the the buildings all on the side of the mountain. Yeah, that's what it reminds yeah. me. Yeah, yeah, I like it. it. Super like peaceful too. I like it a lot. And you're not worried the Empire will show up. Why would they? We're a remote island with limited resources. Hunter wants to. Stay here. Yeah. It's that dad kicking in. Couldn't ask for a better place to raise a child. There you yep. <laughs> He's thinking about it for sure. That's why she brought him here. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yep. <laughs> oh, Wrecker's loving it. <clears throat> All of them, hundred percent. Can I go? Have fun. 
<laughs> I love it that she asked him for permission. <laughs> I love I, it. I didn't even process that. Yeah. Hope you save room for dessert. I love this place. <laughs> <laughs> I told you he was loving it. Just wait. It'll be worth it. <laughs> Okay, that def that actually was worth it. That's cool, bro. This is this has to be one of my favorite planets in Star Wars. Yeah, like this is actually amazing. If we were at risk, the early warning system would have activated. Oh well, well, there it is. Yep. As soon as he said something about it. Yeah. So they got to try to get everyone up to the top. I'm guessing. Hi. Get to the high ground. And they just talked about how they had to extend it down to like the lower levels. Yeah. Oh, well, that's kind of. That is unfortunate. Oh my God! Holy crap! Uh oh. Is it really gonna destroy the boat like that? Would have been you would have been in a better position if you didn't now, jump you, out of it. You know, if the tide is pushing you in, why would you jump? That's not gonna do anything. <laughs> You're just gonna go with the tide, and that's gonna be even more dangerous. Oh, okay, okay never no. Mind. Never mind. I guess I'm just an idiot. I'll shut up. <laughs> oh. Yes. Of course. Of course they would do infinite, that. Infinite, <laughs> infinite Riz. Holy. Dude, this whole place is going to get demolished. Don't let Dwayne Johnson die. No, Dwayne. Climbing. Come on, Dwayne. Grab him, Record. Grab him. Pull, Pull him up. Him. Quit looking. <laughs> no. Not Dwayne, bro. Not bro. Dwayne. Uh, I, dude, that was actually too close, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the record's taking a nap, too. It's hilarious. Yes. <laughs> Ha. <laughs> oh, come on. See, I, I like that one. I, I like that whole, one. I love wholesome moments like that, dude. That's just... I like this one. This one, again, it, we've had multiple episodes like this one where mm -hmm. it gave me a just full-on Clone Wars feeling. 100%. And I really like this one. Um, Like you talked about, Dude, this place is awesome. This planet's sweet. I like it. it it's got to be one of my favorite planets right now. I, I love, absolutely love it. It is insane. And, you know, you're seeing that they... Hunter has finally realized that there are places that they can go. Mm-hmm. You no, know, the yep. Empire isn't everywhere. Like, like Dwayne Johnson explained it. <clears throat> uh... I don't actually remember his name, so I'm going to keep calling him Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was too I was too focused on saying that he looks like The Rock that I didn't catch his name. <laughs> so was I. So. So, but like he said, you know their their planet doesn't have any valuable resources for the Empire to go after, so they have no reason to be out there. Exactly. Maybe Sid lets them know about Omega and maybe Sid either has a tracker on the ship or can find it in some way. And that's how that happens. But yeah, I mean, as of right now, they've found some place where they're not going to be bothered. And I, I think Hunter is, has finally realized that, you know, it's not, not everywhere is, is bad. You can actually find a place where you'll be accepted. And it seemed like and, that whole place was like refu like a bunch of refugees. He's, I think he's yeah, saying. yeah. That's so what that's Dwayne why, said. and that's why Hunter feels safe with doing it. Yeah. Sure. Um, 
<laughs> you got this whole thing going on with with tech <laughs> his his love story which He's is got that pretty dog funny in. <laughs> yeah uh a, again another good episode for omega kind of you know changing her mind and how she sort of feels because she actually has made a friend and <laughs> right in the middle of the episode tech talks about how he hasn't heard her laugh like how how he heard in a in a long time yeah uh she seems like she's having fun and then she had that talk with with the other girl on the boat uh, i think this is just it's another good episode where it's just you know you're getting some some world building out of like we we learn about this new planet new stuff going on but then also you're building the characters some more that's what i really loved about it was the character development is huge yeah and they're really hammering home the idea of hunter being omega's father yeah oh yeah 100 percent. like they she said this is a great place to raise a family or raise a child and that's automatically hunter (laughs) was was down with it fact he's like and, uh, sign me up <laughs> yeah and obviously we knew wrecker was gonna love it like he he has endless food that he's not eating rations dude so. what he said i've never been this full <laughs> <laughs> and then they brought out dessert in his face dude it was yeah, the funniest he, thing it, this was this was a really good one i i genuinely have no complaints about this i like the idea mm-hmm. of it i like the idea of them finally having a "Quote unquote home because we know they're not going to stay here for an, a super long extended period of time. It it makes me think that the next episode is probably going to be focused on Crosshair. Mm-hmm. So then when they do eventually either you know Omega gets caught or they have to leave, it doesn't feel like they instantly left. It feels like some time <laughs> has passed if they put some episodes in between it. So maybe maybe there's going to be one or two before we really get anything." anything else going with the bad batch yeah um, and i feel like this could be a place where they like if they're not doing a mission or they're come back from a mission you know this could be kind of a place where they go yeah I this is like. their really their home at this point mm-hmm. it's, the, yeah. it's the only place they can go other than sid and they're obviously uh cutting ties there there's only three episodes left Mm-hmm. So it makes me think this next one is probably going to be we find out what happens with Crosshair. Maybe it's yeah. something with Rex and Echo. Maybe not. Maybe it's maybe we see Cody. We're obviously going to see Cody at some point. Uh, so I'm guessing this next episode is not going to have the Bad Batch in it. And then the final two episodes, I'm fully expecting it to. Like it's going to be. I'm like... expecting it to be like a two-parter. Sort of that you know they're gonna leave you on a cliffhanger on the mm-hmm. second to last episode, so I I wasn't expecting an episode like this this far into the series. I talked yeah. about it last week. I said I think these next four are really gonna just pick it up even even more after that episode with Crosshair. But I'm not mad at it at all. As <clears throat> it's actually one of my favorite episodes, to be honest. Yeah, I, I liked it. I like the feel of it. It's it's good to have this type of an episode. It's it was a much more light hearted one. Yeah. Whereas I feel like they're maybe maybe with one exception during this season, there really hasn't been any any episodes like that. They've been very emotionally driven. You know, you get ones where Tech or Echo is leaving, uh, the ones where Omega and Tech are bashing heads. Like you're it's very emotionally driven for a lot of these and pretty dark episodes. Yeah, for uh, sure. So having having one like this I think was a a good one to have in this season. So yeah, i I have no complaints. I'm really excited to get into these final three episodes i know they're gonna hit i know the the end of the season is gonna be crazy so yeah for sure uh but that'll be it 
for today's video. If you made it this far in the video, please subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching.